UNRWA, or the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, alongside the Palestinian Authority and other related organizations, have long been accused of being riddled with anti-Israel and anti-Semitic incitement. It's primarily for this reason that the United States and Israel have already cut so much funding from the Palestinian territories. Yet, nothing seems to have been done. While at the United Nations Correspondents Association meeting on Wednesday of last week, human rights monitoring group the Center for Near East Policy Studies again presented their findings and suggested ways to finally fix the problem. Joining me now in the studio with more is the director of the Center for Near East Policy, David Bedeen. Thank you so much for coming back in good, today. Good to be here. All right, so David, you know, we mentioned earlier just now that, you know, you, you presented some of these findings about how incitement uh, to violence is, is really rife, and anti-Semitism really is rife throughout UNRWA mm -hmm. schools and the Palestinian Authority, uh, especially in the education system. But what was maybe one of the more big, like the bigger revelations that you uh, discussed with the UN? What you're seeing behind you is the footage we had 30 hours of footage. We share the, the raw tapes, but also a three-minute film uh, where we show how UNRWA had been infiltrated by, by Hamas, that Hamas had started something called the Al-Qutla Clubs, uh, military training uh, indoctrination sessions in all the UNRWA schools. The, the counselors and the teachers from UNRWA, who are dominantly predominantly Hamas, taking the kids to the border, marching them, giving them guns, and, and training them to invade Israel. So this isn't something that was done under the nose of UNRWA. This was done kind of in full view of Absolutely. UNRWA employees. Everything was done, is, is being done openly, without any hesitation to, to show exactly what's going on. UNRWA took over, the, Hamas took over the UNRWA Teachers Association and the Workers Association, and they dominate the schools. And what they did all summer was to train 100,000 children ages 9 to 15, giving them weapons, training them to take back their homes from 1948 mm -hmm. and kill the people who live there. And we're talking about places like Beersheba, Steyrod, Ashkelon, Ashdod. How is this, you know, is this surprising to people at the UN or, or on the council that you spoke to, you know? We appeared at the, uh, I brought three experts, uh, one who translated this Palestinian school books uh, that used by UNRWA, one who who examined, who, who filmed the, 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 these, these, took these films, and another who, who revealed exactly how Hamas had gotten in, gotten in control of the schools. No one knows this. The correspondent, we met with there more than 30 correspondents. But, been, but Israel has been reporting this for years. No, Israel has, in, Israel has, has mentioned that Hamas is all over the place. They haven't, it, it's not been in the Israeli media so much that the, the actual schools have these Al-Qutla clubs which are running the curriculum uh, it's been it's been hinted at, but it's not not been sh showed directly, and that's what we showed. And the correspondence there, they're not pro-Israel or anti-Israel. They just were they, they were just amazed. And now there's five major news agencies looking into this, and you, you see the guns. You know, this is this is a humanitarian agency that claims not to have funds. The funds. This is a war crime. Yeah, but they, it's war it, it, this is a child abuse, which is against all United right. Nations resolutions vis-a-vis -vis children, and they claim not to have funds for for basics such as med medical supplies, etc. But they have enough funds to give 100,000 children m military training, and the kids at the end of the summer take the Kalashnikov or the M M16 home, and that's right. what we're going to be facing. The kids, what we show in our films, you can see our films at IsraelBehindTheNews.com, IsraelBehindTheNews.com. You see the children motivated to take back their homes and kill the people who live there, and this is the UNRWA education. All right, well, David, thank, first of all, thank you again for coming in and, and sharing uh, your report with us, but uh, second of all, again, for anyone back at home who wants to see the full 10-minute video, uh, it's at IsraelBehindTheNews.com in the video section, and I think uh, we'll also post it to our YouTube later Excellent. Tonight. Let my people know, people don't know, we're starting something called the UNRWA Reform Initiative Campaign, so that UNRWA should be a humanitarian agency, right. not a military agency. All right, well, check it out. The Terror of Return, 10-minute video, we'll post it later. Thank you. Thank you.